Here a man can row about 24 miles downstream in two hours and back upstream takes him three hours against the current. What is the, what is the speed of the current? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is identify variables. Here I let x equal the speed of the boat. That's going to be in miles per hour and c, the speed of the current, also in miles per hour. Now with these, it's usually easiest to organize your data with a chart. Here I drew in the basics of the chart. We know this is a distance problem, so you have to memorize that distance equals rate times time. Now there's two things going on here. First, he's rowing downstream. And then secondly, he's rowing back upstream. So to organize our data, let's try to fill in this chart. We know the trip downstream took two hours, so I'm going to put that here. And then to get back, it took him three hours. Okay, the, the total trip there downstream was 24 miles. And the trip back was 24 miles. Okay, what we don't know is the speed. Now, downstream, certainly when you're working with the current, the speed of the boat and the current add. So the speed downstream is x plus c. But the reason it took longer to get back is that you have the speed of the boat, but you're working against the current, minus c. Okay, so we filled in our chart. And this came from just the word problem there. And we've organized our data. Now the, ob the goal is to set up some sort of algebra system here. Okay, well it's real easy. Distance equals rate times time. So you could see from the first line, distance equals rate x plus c times that two hours. But since we have two variables, we need two equations. So let's look at the second row. The distance there, the trip back, 24 miles, is equal to its rate, x minus c, times time. Okay, so two equations, two unknowns. This is a linear system. We could solve this. All right, so let's look at our setup here. 24 equals x plus c times 2, 24 equals x minus c times 2. What I could do is distribute the 2 and distribute the 3, but I notice that 2 goes into 24 and 3 goes into 24. So as a little bit of a shortcut here, I'm going to divide both sides of the first equation by 2, and I'm also going to divide both sides of the second equation here by 3. Okay, this isn't always going to work out so nicely, but here it does. So 24 divided by 2 is 12. And then 2 divided by 2, those cancel, so I'm left with x plus c. Now in the bottom equation, 24 divided by 3 is 8. And 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that leaves me with x minus c. Okay, so just by dividing like that, um, my c's are lined up to eliminate. So let's go ahead and add these two equations together. 12 plus 8 is 20. C's eliminate, so that leaves me with 2x on the right side. And then dividing by 2, x equals 10. All right, so that tells me the boat is traveling at 10 miles per hour. But that's not what the question was. It actually wanted the speed of the current. So we're going to have to back substitute. And we can use any one of these equations back here. So when I back substitute, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll just choose this one, 12 equals x plus c. Okay, so x is known, and c is what we're looking for. We just figured x was 10. So if we subtract 10 on both sides, then c equals 2. Now remember what c is. C was the speed of the current. Okay, so the current is running at 2 miles per hour. And that's the answer to the question here.